Hey, welcome back, Hidden Acres Outdoors. Y'all are in for a treat today. Making a rare guest appearance is my wife. She is going to be the one today going into our three hives you can see over here. The one on the left was overwintered, and the two on the right are nukes that we put in, what, three weeks ago? Oh, it hadn't been six weeks. At any rate, they're fairly new nukes, and we're just going to check and see what the progress on those happens to be. And so, stand by while she gets all suited up. Say bye. Say hi. Uh, bye. Yeah, they've been in, they've been in here rearranging some of their honey stores. Good frame full of honey. Okay. Yeah, they got some honey in there. What's this side look like? Honey. So we're not too concerned at the moment with these guys not having enough to eat as long as they're bringing in some pollen. Because they need the pollen for the protein. Yep, more pollen, more nectar going in here, some capped honey. All right, we got a bunch of larvae over here on this section that hasn't been capped yet. And some more larvae up here. <clears throat> so she's been in working this frame pretty good compared to what it looked like last time we were in here. Now I expect her to either be on that frame when we just missed her. Maybe she's running the frame or the box. And she might be on this frame as we pull it up. Bunch of pollen on that little guy right there, the little girl right there, see her? Yep. Full pollen baskets on this little gal. More larva. Uh, I don't have my glasses on, so it's going to be real hard for me to see any eggs. But we've got a lot of fresh larva in here. And they're not all drone cells, so we know we've got a, a good laying queen. If we could lay eyes on her, it'd be nice, but it's not necessary. Alright, they're all lining up on top. What she's talking about is when the bees start climbing up on the top of the frames and eyeballing you like, hey, what you doing here? Then, yeah, that's, that's a defensive posture they start getting. And it's time to uh, smoke them down a little bit. Calm them down a little bit. More pollen baskets full here. She's got pollen baskets full. I still hadn't spotted the... Oh, there she is. Right there. See yeah, the queen? I see her. I see her. Hello, queen. And this is going to sound gross. And there's all kinds of videos out there that tells you how to find the queen. But, uh... If you grew up in the south in America, you know what a cockroach looks like. And to me, their abdomen looks a lot like a cockroach. <laughs> so, that's just the way it is. So I think we're going to close this one up. Let them get back to business. This hive did not, <coughs> excuse me. This hive did not overwinter as strong as we had hoped. But it did survive, as you can see. And we've got the queen in there. We spotted her. She's still laying good patterns. And we will probably replace her next year. Uh, you get a couple of years out of a queen, it's probably time to start replacing her. We haven't seen any indication that they're preparing to swarm. And we wouldn't expect that with all their stores that they have here. And with all the room that they have left to go. 
So we're good to go on these for right now. She's going to box them up and we'll get busy checking out our new nukes. And these oh, wow. nukes have had showing greater strength and activity than this overwintered hive. So we just want to go in here and see how they filled out some of the foundation because they were five frame deep nukes and they really look good if you go back and look that quick video. And, oh you got a bunch on the bottom too so be careful when you set it down. And a lot of people just take this stuff they scrape off and they chunk it out on the ground and you just attract insects, uh, ants, wax moths, uh, hive beetles, all that kind of stuff. So it's, I personally think, although I'm not the expert on this, that it's better just to uh, take this excess comb and crap with you when you leave your apiary. Oh yes, now these frames were bare, oh what, two weeks ago? So they've been drawn out. You see how nice and white and pretty that new comb is? They had not got to this side quite yet. But if they've done, let's take a look down in here if you can see it on the video. They are very busy building that comb out, getting ready to either store honey and pollen in it or expand the uh, brood base in it. So... We're looking, look at all these guys. Girls. Girls. Yeah, there might be a guy or two in there. But we nice. are... Nice and heavy. We are just about ready to throw a super on top of these. And what we're going to do is try a single brood chamber, just the deep cell. Now look at the difference in some of these bees. You see some of the little ones are more yellow looking. Then so many older ones, that's how you can tell the newer bees. Look at the markings on their abdomen. From the darker markings you get on some of the older bees. So you know our queen's in there, taking care of business. I mean they are, they are working hard. This is one of the original nuke frames. Oh. Bees just drip it off. Tons of honey, eggs. Well, quick. There's some eggs right there. You got some eggs? Yeah. Well, good. Oh, yeah. See how they're, they're already working this? Yeah, we got to get a toothbrush. Yeah. So we need to get a super put up on these real <laughs> quick. Outside frame from the new hive or the new nuke. And uh, so they've already drawn out just about all of that. To be honest with you, sweetheart, I would I would check that other left side over there. And I would Let's get a quick look at maybe one of the brood frames and see if you got larvae and stuff. And I'd box them suckers up. And Anything here? Yep. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. Oops. You need some smoke? Yeah, and I don't. That works. Smarts, doesn't it? That's the hive that stung me last time. Okay, better now. Gracious. Girls, that was rude. So, we may be requeening this hive. Because that's twice we've been into it, and twice we've been stung. That we not, may not be the best bee handlers in the world, but, uh, <laughs> a 
least it wasn't me this time. Yeah. Oh yeah, they're good. They're good. Still a lot of drone. Yeah. I do see a lot of drone. I think we definitely need to get another. Yeah. Box, we definitely have got to get some supers on top of these. Well, there she is. She has suffered her first bee sting. The, uh, the nuke on the right seems to be a little more aggressive because this is twice we've been into that hive and twice they've stung us. And, you know, we didn't have any issues with either of the other. We didn't have any issues with either of the other two. So, uh, we may see how it goes and see if they settle down a little bit. Uh, give them a little more room to operate. And if they, if they stay aggressive throughout the summer, we're going to replace that gal. I'll squish her like a bug. We're still new to this beekeeping stuff, so uh, we know enough to almost be dangerous, but we don't know what we don't know, if that makes any sense. So, you got any questions or comments or anything else, holler at us, leave a link below. Please do us a favor, hit the subscribe, hit the uh, like button, give us a thumbs up. And, uh, you know, we'll see you next time from Hidden Acres Outdoors. Bye.